My name is uh, Cliff um, Matthias. I'm from the Red Hawk Native American Arts Council here in New York City. Um, and uh, we sit here today on the, the land of the Lenape. And so we always would like to always give um, our respect and, and honor to um, those ancestors who walked this land before we all have come here. Um, and so um, we uh, ask for for that respect from, from the Lenape. Uh, so um, I just shared an honor song with you, and this is a song that we do when we begin um, uh, our festivities or discussions or everything that we do in that good way um, that we ask uh, that we begin the day with honor, with, with love, with um, speaking from our heart, hearts and our minds and all coming together in one. And I, uh, um, I understand today and, and what, what we're doing here is, is all based on the fundamentals of peace, you know? Peace, the, uh, it's a fundamental requirement of life, you know, to be peaceful. It just, uh, it's become such a, uh, a difficult thing in this universe, this world that we live in to find um, always to find peace, but it's such a, just a fundamental requirement of life, of living, is that we just live in peace. Uh, our day is peaceful, uh, um, and um, I'm not that very old to have lived on this planet, um, but I've noticed this shift in humanity, and although we're in a time of maybe trial, um, things that are happening in the world. I've never seen so many people on the path of peace and righteousness. Um, a few weeks ago, I was at the, the War Resisters, the 95th gathering of the War Resisters here in New York City. Um, and uh, again, reminded of how many people um, on this planet are, are seeking or searching um, to live in harmony, to live in peace with not just each other, but it, it, it's that connection to our great mother, the earth. And so when we, you know, our elders always tell us that when we live in harmony with our mother, the earth, then we begin to live in harmony with each other because we are all connected. 
And as this drum, this circle of this drum talks about, you know, our, our Mother Earth and that beating of the drum, her heartbeat. And as we all uh, can never escape it, you know, this sound, this first sound that we heard when we were in that other Earth. And we came out into this Earth. But our Mother always took care of us. And so that's, you know, that message, you know, that we talk about as living in harmony and living in, in peace with, on the earth, this drum is that message as well. You know, as, as the indigenous people, as, as just one of the many indigenous people of this planet, we, we are given that responsibility as the caretakers of the planet uh, to, to constantly remind people that we um, need to set that message that we need to live in harmony and in peace with each other and with the, with the, the earth. And it's become such a responsibility for, for the indigenous people. I know I just, uh, well, it seems like yesterday, but the, the permanent forum on indigenous people was um, last April, I believe, but it seems like it just passed. And it was just a, a, such a reminder as indigenous people gathered from all over the world to talk about the water and the land and how the struggles for us to, to uh, live in harmony with that. I'm going to play this flute song which talks about love. It talks about nature and it talks about how an elder wanted his help his young nephew find love and he, 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 he was in love with this girl but had no way to express it. And his elder thought of a dream. He had a dream of a woodpecker and this woodpecker pecked these six holes. And these six holes, beautiful music came out. And it made all the birds of the forest sit and listen to the sounds of love. And as the grandfather woke the next morning, he saw a tree he had never seen before and saw these six holes. And he said to his brother, tell me what these holes mean. And the tree said, well, grandfather, this is for our mother earth. We always must remember her. This is for the four directions and the four seasons and the four things that grow, the root, the stem, the leaf, the fruit of a tree, the four creatures of the earth, those that swim, those that fly, those that walk, those that crawl. And this last one, grandfather, for your, oh, oh we forgot the, the four uh, things that grow, the root, the stem, the leaf, and the fruit of a tree. And of course, this last one is for grandfather's heart because he was kind and he was loving and he always walked in peace and in harmony with everything around him. And so he gave this to his grandson. He said, if you play this, she's gonna love you forever. And he looked at it and he said, grandfather, I don't know what to do with this instrument. And he said, place it to your lips and blow on it. And so he took that instrument and he placed it to his lips. <laughs> like that. And his grandfather said, no, you have to think about her in your heart and in your head and all the love inside of you will come out of your breath. And so that night, he saw her sitting there and he played her a song from his heart.
fell in love and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> um, I want to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity um, to come before you. Um, I'm humbled um, to, uh, I was briefly given the, uh, the list of many of the, uh, the participants and the, you sitting in the audience and I'm, I'm humbled to uh, be able to come before you and, and, and share um, these songs with you. And um, I hope that we, and I say we because I will include myself in this, in this group, I hope that we, um, as, as facilitators of bringing peace and harmony and love and these messages um, to this planet, that we can uh, create a following that will uh, continue to foster. And so we will be the major majority um, and no longer the minority. Thank you.